Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome to part 2 of my February favourites. This is where I show you my random favourites of the month and even though February was the shortest month of the year, I still managed to accumulate a lot of favourites so I'm going to jump into them straight away and I'm going to actually start with books. Usually that's what I end with but then I always am in a rush to show you guys and I know that a lot of you read and I love that and I love hearing your suggestions for favourite books so I wanted to show you some of mine for this month. So I'll show you the ones that I actually have books of first. The first one is Shatter Me, and this is by the author, I can't even pronounce her name, but I think it's Tareri Maffi. I, I'm honestly, I'm not going to try, but this is it here, and I'll put a link to um, her site in the bottom bar below, so you can check it out, and I... If you know how to pronounce that, let me know because I feel really bad for butchering it. Because overall, this was a fantastic book. This is a young adult book. It is a slightly, it's got like a paranormal, I guess, element to it, even though it's not your normal paranormal element. And it is really, really good. I love the sort of romance story and I'm really looking forward to the next one. I can't wait to read it. And I highly recommend it. It's based in like a dystopian society, kind of like um, something like Divergent or even The Hunger Games, things like that. So if you liked those books, then I think you'll definitely like this book. This is actually my copy of it. I actually bought this as a gift for my sister back in November for her birthday. And then I borrowed it recently, loved it so much, so I actually ordered myself a copy. So you probably see this in a book haul that I'll be doing on my other channel. But I really, really recommend this if you like those books that I mentioned, because I think this is going to be a great series also. For older readers, I have three, I guess you could call them, romance novels that I absolutely loved. One of them is Jane Graves, Heartstrings and Diamond Rings. I've read, this is the fourth book I've read from Jane Graves. It, there was Hot Wheels and High... Hot Wheels and High Wheels, Tall Tales and Wedding Veils, um, what's the one before this? Black Ties and Lullabies, and then this one which is Heartstrings and Diamond Rings. One, I think the names are really, really cute, but they're also really great books. You don't have to necessarily have read them all in order, but they do have links to it. The other one before this is Tall Tales and Wedding Veils, that, that actually has links to this because you get reference it's to the couple in the other book, and I do recommend reading that one as well because I really liked that book. But I recommend, if you're sort of older, an older reader, I recommend checking out this book because I think you'll like it. Another one that I have here is Baby It's Cold Out, Outside by Addison Fox. I'm not sure whether I mentioned this in a previous favourites videos or not, but I was going through my books wanting to work out what I was going to show you and I thought if I haven't mentioned it already, I need to mention it and if I have then I'll happily mention it again. This is a really great book. Again, it's part of a series and I'm really looking forward to the next book in the series. So I don't think it comes out to the end of the year, which makes me kind of sad, but I'm really looking forward to it when it does come out. And this one is good because you can actually see in this book, it sort of sets up the story for the next two books and you can kind of work out who the next two couples are going to be. And I really like that. I like when a book builds up like the next person's story in this book because it, it really makes you enjoy and love the next story because you feel like you've got so much background. It makes the story really rich. So I really recommend that one also. And then the last one I have here is Breakaway by Deidre, March, Deidre Martin. I, again, sorry, I'm playing with my hair. I really like this book. I've read a lot, a lot of books from her. This, A lot of her books are centered in some way linked to a fictional uh, hockey team called the New York Blades. I have loved pretty much every single book in this series. I have loved every single book in this series. I have some that I love more than others, but I have enjoyed every single one. This one is set, the last few books have been sort of, have like an Irish twist, like they're linked to an Irish family, but they still have links back to the previous stories and back to the hockey team and things like that. So I do recommend reading them. You don't have to read them in order again, but if you're like me and you like having read the story, like I get really frustrated if I read a book and then realize that there was one before it. So if you are like that, then I am saying that this is like the eighth or ninth book probably. So do go back and read the other ones. But I do recommend this one and then her whole series of books like this because they are great. And then, as always, I have some that I've purchased on my Kindle app on my iPad. So I'm going to go through them quickly because a lot of them are really, really worthy of a mention also. And they're a lot cheaper than some of these books. Some of these are like 99 cents self-published books. Some of these are only $2.99. So if you have a iPad, if you have a Kindle, even if you have a computer, you can get the Kindle app on your computer. I do recommend that. So the first one that I have here is Grounding Quinn by Stephanie Campbell. And I will try and bring up the cover of these for you guys so you can have a look. But this one was a really great story. And I, again, these are basically all young adult books. But I think you'll like it. This one's not a paranormal one or anything like that. But it does um, deal with some, I guess you could call, uh, 
teenage issues or whatever, but I really liked it. I loved the girl in this. I loved the story. At some points, I thought she was a little bit harsh on herself, but overall, it was a great ending, and I really enjoyed the book. The next one that I have in this list, actually, I have two of them that are for adult readers. It's Sweet Stuff and Sugar Rush by Donna Kaufman. Again, this is a series. This is a series called The Cupcake Club Romance. I have enjoyed both of them. I'm really looking forward to the next one that's coming out, I don't know, at some point this year. They're just like an adult romance book. I don't need to go into too much detail. But if you like the sweet kind of stories, I recommend these. They're fantastic. I really, really enjoyed them. They're really well written. The next one I have here is Because of Low by Abby Glines. I have mentioned her in multiple videos. I have loved every single book that she has put out. This one is the second book after Breathe, which was in my favourites sometime last year. I really enjoyed Breathe. I really enjoyed this book and I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm pretty sure she's doing in the series. I also recommend The Vincent Boys from her and uh, Existence, both of which have been in past favourites videos. So um, again, just further back up because I love them so much. If you like uh, if you like the book Star Crossed, which I think I mentioned in a previous, it was at the start of last year, and hopefully the next book should be coming out quite soon. It was a story that kind of had um, the mythological side of it was based on uh, Greek mythology, so like gods and things like that. If you like that stuff, which I do, then I recommend this book called Destined by Jesse Harrell. This one is a, again a love story, they're always love stories, it's a young adult book, but it is based on the story of Psyche and Eros, like gods, and I just really enjoyed it. It's sort of a, I guess diverged from the general vampires, werewolves, things that I often read in a lot of paranormal books, so I really do like that, and I think that it makes a really interesting story. It was short, sweet, well written. The next one I have here is called Blood Song from me at Brianna and Hart. And this was actually recommended to me by one of my subscribers. I think it was X Madeline Grace, but if I'm getting that wrong, I'm sorry. I'll write the name down here just to say thank you because I am so glad that you recommended this book to me. I really, really liked it. Again, this is the first book in a series of books, so I'm looking forward to the next one. And it's actually an Aussie author, which I think is fantastic because I like being able to support support Australian authors. It was a really good book. Again, it was a supernatural kind of or paranormal book, but it wasn't your typical book. It actually created like a whole new different type of, I guess, evilness and powers and things like that. It created like a set up a whole new world, which I think is really cool. Something interesting and different. And I do recommend that you'll like that if you're a YA reader and that you like those kind of stories, then I think you'll definitely like this one. It was really well written and I really can't wait. I follow her on Twitter and I've been um, she tweets about the fact that she's editing the next book and that gets me really excited so I'm like yay another book and then last but not least I read In the Spotlight by Liz Boltz again it was just a cute simple book there we go this was a cute kind of a story it, had, it was based around music and um, musicians and traveling with a band and stuff like that and I always think that that's a really cool idea for a story because I think I don't know it's like a cool dream that would never happen but to be able to like I don't know follow a band around and go with them on tour and I think it'd be so much fun to see the world via a music tour. I just think that would be amazing. So that's why I really liked that book. Okay, now that I've babbled on for books for about 10 minutes, I'm going to move on to my other random favourites this month. I'm going to go as quickly as possible. Food favourite has been the Weight Watchers Double Choc Puddings. These are great not only because they are low calories, they're four points in the Weight Watchers Pro Points if you follow that, um, but if you just want normal per serving, they're 735 kilograms which is under 200 calories so I think that that's really really good they're great for a dessert it's been even though it's been summer it has been kind of cool at least at the end of February so I've been loving these you put them in the microwave they take a minute and they taste delicious it's like one of those upside down puddings and all the chocolate sauce it's so good so I highly recommend them and you can just get them in your supermarket a, another random favourite, I guess this is a DVD favourite, is the Taylor Swift Journey to Feel a CD. I am so excited because I'm seeing Taylor Swift in a week and this video even may go up after that because this week is kind of crazy for me so I don't know when this video will get to go up. But I wanted to buy this. This was her last concert, Fearless, and I just thought I'd get this to get me in the mood for uh, Speak Now. I actually have the Speak Now DVD, CD thing, but I got that for Christmas and I'm purposely not watching it until I've seen the concert. So I'm really looking forward to that because I'm sure it's going to be amazing. It'll definitely be a March favourite. I can almost guarantee it. And then for song favourites, I have a few song favourites. So some songs that I've been loving, Just a Boy by Angus and Julia Stone, 
Two Strong Hearts by John Farnham, which is actually really random. It's a really old song, but I was sitting in the dentist and I heard the song come on the radio and it was something about it was really catchy. It's like one of those like 80s songs or whatever that your parents probably would have danced to, but I don't know, I like it, so I thought I'd mention it. Um, the I Wanna Radio remix by Bob Sinclair and Shaggy. Um, Ask Back Home by Jim Class Heroes, Say You Like Me by We The Kings, Wild Ones by Flo Rida, and probably my favourite song completely of the month is Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. Jepsen, yeah, I've got to make sure I say that. Carly Rae Jepsen. I have been loving that song, listening to it on repeat. And then last but not least for my random favourites is actually a phone app. I'm still loving Tiny Tower, but I'm not going to it as much as pos as I usually do. I also really like Pick Frame, but my favourite by far is actually been Where's My Water. And this is a kids game, I think. It's actually by Disney, see how it says Disney Mobile. But it is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's addictive. I was out with friends and they were talking about it and I thought, okay, I'm going to download it to see. And I'm like, why am I playing this game? But I love it and everyone I've given it to people that are older than me have still have played this and finished it. I think I finished it in a week and I'm just waiting for the next levels to come out. It's basically you have little Swampy which is an alligator and you just need to, he wants, he lives in the swamp and he wants to take a bath and he can't get water so you have to go through and give him water and collect ducks and I sound like a five-year-old. I'm pretty sure these games are made for five-year-olds but not only are they addictive they're kind of hard so I don't know if a five-year-old could play this but I really, really enjoy it, and if you're looking for a new game for your iPhone, something, if you're bored with what you've got and you want something new, definitely check out Where's My Water. There's a free version, so you can play it for a little bit and see if you like it, and then I think the full version is 99 cents. So that is it. That is all for my random favourites. If you haven't had a chance to see my beauty product favourites, I'll put a link to it right here so you guys can check that out. That's got beauty, makeup and hair products. So um, all the ones that I've been loving for February 2012. And that is it from me. I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.